the frosts are coming. Oh man, it was cold. I finished, well, I, actually I went to work last night and there was frost on my car. And then when I was driving home, I had to stop and take a photo, take a picture of them. I mean, my car, my camera wasn't picking up very good in the, in the dark, all the fuzz. But man, brave people out there. <laughs> I mean, that was probably about, say, five past seven in the morning. They were surfing and there was even, and I didn't want to film it actually, there were even, there's always like a ladies, sw like salt water, sea water, fresh water, swimmers. And they were there just in bathers, no, wet, no wetsuits. Oh man, it was cold. The frosts are here. So I'm just coming in, bringing these boxes to have a quick look. Like I say, it was frost. This is the first frost we've had this year. So was it November the 20th? I'm not sure, it's a Friday anyways. I've got one more night shift left. And I want to just have a little inspect because I've got, as you can see, I've got, you know, a number of the, well, we'll go around and we'll have a look. I'm carrying these boxes, can you see? I'm just like limping around. I've got my new, new seed box there. And I was told to take these boxes back up the allotment. They're just <laughs> cluttering the place. So give us a second. Right, I'll put that in here for safe storage because I know where everything is. There you go, look, there's me both of them. The are, man, honestly, the best seed box you can get, hands down. And I know like most of you have got them there now and most of you will agree, well, everyone will agree. Like I say, I got another one. Just, you, they just make your life organized. Right, let's go into the polytunnel see, because this is where me, my me main, me mains, <laughs> what he is, just in case. I mean, I, I guess if I'd had potatoes, because I've got the potatoes, but all it, it's all died back anyways. Is it? Needs a good bloody sweep out there. Ah, they're still, they're still all right. Looking a little bit. The cutworms are, I'm, I'm hoping they're kind of, they're gone. Do you know what I mean? You might get the odd one, but. Seem all right, it seems all right, nothing, I can't see anything. I know m mustards will be pretty hardy things. And these are kind of wintry salads, so yeah, it's looking all right. Looking all right here. I'll tell you what I noticed as well, which is really good for outdoor, and I've had it for a couple of weeks, oh, a couple of months now, I've got a, oh, I forgot the bloody name of it. I'm going to stand here until I remember it. Cilantro in, in America, what is it man? Coriander, bloody hell man. <laughs> and it's outside and it's doing great, to be honest. And I know it likes, you know, it's, a, it's, it's quite happy in the cold weather. So, my spinach, do I need to kind of cover that? It's looking good there. I've had one picking from the spinach. I might put a bit of fleece over. Oh, actually, that's a thought. I'll put a link because I've ordered two 10 meter, 10 meter by two meter, 30 gram thickness fleeces just to go in the polytunnel. Let's go back in there, man. Just to go back in, like up, up there, you know, like lie them on, just to protect them over the hard frost so it'd be lovely to kind of come in say january and just pick a little bit you know that would be nice protect me carrots you know what i mean the old fella might be after us there god they, that little bun, bunch there got hammered so yeah so i'll put a link because like i said i haven't got them yet but um the, the they're coming and it's i forget what they were it's 16 pound or something but a lot if you notice most of me, oh, well, all my stuff, you know, is kind of being protected at one time or the other. So I've got Brussels sprouts that aren't looking that good. They, they seem all right. What are them? Can it? All year round cabbage there. There's all different varieties of brass, brassicas. You know what I mean? There's, I put, if you remember, I put that salad in just as, you know, to throw it in. I've still got beetroots to, to pick there. These are all lettuce, lettuces, different varieties of 
I'd have to get in and actually check. And I have labelled them all year round. I'm not sure what them is. I can't see. But I've got all sorts of different things. <laughs> I have, honestly. Trust us. More kale. What's these? And let's see if I can... Oh, I can see the leaves are covering them. You know, it says advantage cabbage, but I know that's not because that was last year's. It's a little... What is it? Oh, sprouting broccoli. Some more sprouting broccoli there, just little bits. Yeah, it's all right. There's not really that much that would get... Look at that, I left this from yesterday. That would get knocked. I'll take this into the poly tunnel. Just to... To get it told. You know, I haven't got much any at the moment that would get knocked. I mean, it, I'm guessing it was, you know, obviously it was zero degrees, but it hasn't been severe. But it's, hey, it's been our first one. So, have you had, am I late to the game with the frosts? Have you had frosts yet? Am I kind of wrapped in bubble and cosy warm with that north sea there mind it like i say it didn't look any good but funny enough we're talking about doing and i don't know if i will do it or not about where them surfers were about 200 yards further along that beach that's where they do the uh, it's called the boxing day dip and there's i don't know maybe a couple of hundred people go down next to this pub and then all charge into the sea and then charge back out to do it for charity. We're taught, thinking about doing that this year. So, everything seems all right. Just turn your back round there. But the first frosts have come and we're now heading into the winter months there. Look after yourselves. Take good care.